Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, blueheronarts.com. Today we're going to show you a process of dry mounting a watercolor painting on rice paper. This is a very thin Chinese rice paper. It's a sized shuan. Size means non-absorbent. So you can paint almost like a watercolor with the delicacy of a rice paper texture. So it's very smooth. Okay. Um, before we mount, before we do the framing, we need to mount it to make it look more like a watercolor, regular watercolor. So I use a uh, backing paper. You can use the watercolor painting paper or Bristol paper uh, or multimedia paper, whatever. Um, so I have a piece of uh, silicone dry mounting paper cut to the size of the painting. And uh, this backing paper is slightly larger than the painting. But uh, the um, backing, the adhesive is exactly the same. So I, I dry mount this film on the backing paper first. This method, I call it label, uh, method B. Method A is to mount directly on back of the painting, which is more challenging for most people, I think. That's why I'm showing you. If you decide to mount the painting on a backing paper like this, a thick paper, you don't need to mount the painting first, but uh, mount the backing paper first. And then you can simply release the, the paper that comes with the silicone. Now you have a lamination, which is adhesive film on the backing paper. Now I align the painting with that adhesive film. Okay, and I put this release paper back on as a protecting sheet protecting paper on top of the painting. Now I just iron one more time to activate the adhesive. Now you have a perfect mounted uh, rice paper watercolor painting. Um, you can see the color is very vibrant. And uh, you can even see the sparkling of uh, the mica powder that comes with the, the uh, size. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you want, you can get, you can get the silicone dry mounting paper at blueheronarts.com. We ship worldwide. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.